Hello, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about IQ panel, the normal use and the settings. So now first we'll talk about three slide screens. Those are available on the display. So now in this one, the first box is system that is disarmed or armed. So when you press this, it gives you two options. So either you can put arm stay or arm away. So arm stay is in which your all the door sensors will be logged and in during this time if the door is open then your alarm will require you to put code and then it will give you a time uh, 30 seconds or the time you can uh, you you set like one minute and then you do it but interior motion uh, will not interfere in it but then if you put the arm away in that any motion inside the house or when the door opens then your panel will request the code. Otherwise it will uh, trigger the alarm within uh, after that time period. So now when you slide, you go back to the screen. So now we will test the alarm, how it works. So I will Select press on this and then I'll just uh, do arm stay. arm stay. And then it quickly locks because all the doors are already uh, closed so this system will activate right away so now to deactivate it i have to enter a code within 30 seconds so i'll do that one two three four system is now disarmed and the system is now disarmed and now if i select do arm system type arm away away mode selected then it gives me 60 seconds to exit the house and lock the door so it will give me uh, uh 60 seconds to lock the any door in the system uh, also you can increase that leave time by going to settings so i'll show you that in in a uh, in few minutes now on the right side of the screens you see that these are all these sensors and locks so if you see front door sales door and then there are motion sensors as well so if you see on the active everything is logged and secure so it won't show any active uh, lock that means uh, sorry the active sensor that means its door is all closed and it's not open so if i open this door, garage door opens. and it says garage door opens and you see it opens here so now if you see the capsule here is closed that means the door is closed and then when the capsule here opens that means the lock sensor is off that means the door is open so now if i close it it closed the caps, uh, capsule here, and then that means it's good to go. Now, if by any chance your sensor for any door or the motion, uh, it it is tempered or it, it breaks by any chance, then here will be like a shattered uh, a sign that will show that the sensor is being tempered and then you have to uh, fix it by, or you can call professional or fix it on your own. Then on here, if you see, it gives you uh, a screen and then there's a there are four notifications so if i go to message there is no message alert and all alarm that it shows that at this time it was there was an invalid user to disarm so when i came in i entered a wrong uh code just to get this notification so it will show you that how it works and then if you see here in the morning uh like on september 19 the alarm door was triggered so this is what happens is if you use that particular door to come in and you don't enter the code within those uh, seconds that it gives you and then it will trigger the alarm and it will show you which door was used to enter and then how it triggered the alarm. And then in the video tutorial, it gives you all the uh, different options. So the, like the overview, arming, disarming, weather, emergency panic, cameras on all those settings. And in the contact, it will be your installer's contact number or your security provider and then you can contact them quickly. Now we'll go to the second slide. In this one, it will give you a preview of the picture it took uh, when the code was entered or the different options here. So the first one is disarmed. So every time the IQ panel is disarmed, it will take a picture uh, for the person who's disarming it. So you have a record. So if you see here, it's different date and time that it was disarmed. And then if you go to setting options, so that means whenever you try to uh, go to the setting and then the enter the master code it will take a picture like who tried to access it and then alarm in this one whenever uh, the alarm was triggered it takes a video of it that the whole time when the alarm was triggered it, it takes the video and then if you go to all then it, it shows you all the settings 
uh, sorry, it shows you all the pictures or the videos it took during that period. Then we'll go to the third slide. So in this one, so the first is Wi-Fi connected. So if I press on details, it will show me that the Wi-Fi details are connected. Then on this side, it will show me that uh, the the version of the software installed so you can see it and then there's a bluetooth on uh, bluetooth is already turned on then if i want to access it then i need to enter the master code so i will show these settings uh in in few minutes then there's a quick access panel at the bottom if you press it it brings the uh, emergency services so the police fire and auxiliary so now when you press it it send the notification but now it depends if you have these services or not so please check with your uh, security system company and they will be updating you on that now on the top here uh, when you press on the time or you slide down it brings a window down now on this window you will see the status right now so it's disarmed and then your battery your Wi-Fi Bluetooth and the network and then here is the bright, uh, the sound when this door opens or closes or the alarm. And then this is the brightness for the panel. And then there are different settings. So the first is setting here, sorry, the different icons here. So the first is setting, then message and alert. So if I open it again, it, these are the same ones. So I will say I acknowledge them and I can delete them by choosing all of them and press OK. Now they are deleted. So now if I press on the side and then it will take me back to the main uh, display. So now photo frame in this one, when I press it, there are different wallpapers I can choose from. So for example, I'll just choose this one and it will go give me a preview. And then you can choose what, what, pre, uh, what picture you want. So in this one, if you want to, uh, change the settings for the display then you can go to the setting options first is play then what it does is it it shows you all the setting uh sorry all the wallpapers then in the delete you can choose a certain one that you want to delete or you can cancel and then add you can add more of them by if you want to add you can either uh add new by downloading it or you can do a sd card and then you can download it uh, sorry then you can install it and then in the settings, then it will, uh, you can change how the wallpaper shows on your screen. So for example, uh, duration, like after how long, sorry, uh, for how long one picture should be, should be shown on your display. Then the effect, so when the pictures are changing, what effect, how it should change. And then the shuffle is like, it will be choosing random pictures from whole collection then the display type when the touch screen is inactive and then it shows you the photo frame and then uh, photo frame time like how long it should uh, start after like you're, you you have done using the screen and then after how long it will be it will become on, coming on and then nighttime mode start time end time and night mode settings so this means like if you're sleeping at like 11 p.m waking up at 6 as it shows that it will start that night mode uh, settings and then in the night mode settings, you can customize your display voice and chimes to if you want to reduce the brightness or you want to reduce the uh, the uh, sound of the chime, then you can control the volume of as well. Then now if we go back to the settings here, then it will give you a clear screen. So in this one, when you press it, your screen will be uh, display will be logged for 30 seconds. So for, I'll just press this and it will give you 30 seconds to clean your screen. So now if I do anything on the screen, it won't activate anything. So I have that particular time to clean the screen and then it will go back to the normal use. So now when 30 seconds are over, uh, the display will go back to the normal and then you can use it. So now if I slide it down back, there's another setting that's the quick language change. So you can change from English to Spanish and Spanish to English. Uh, there's a whole uh, little list in the settings that you can choose your language from, but this is like a quick change. And now when I swipe down, I can go to the settings. So in the settings, you will see first is the display. So in this one, the brightness, the font size, and then the time. So right now I have 
12 hour format or you can change it to a 24 hour format and now if I go back then it will show me the SD card I don't have any SD card inserted in so it won't show me but if you uh, insert any SD card then you can change the uh, you can see those uh, information as well then for the temperature you can change between Fahrenheit to Celsius uh, for some reason I can't see the weather here but uh, on the IQ panel you will be able to see it and when you press it it shows you uh, I think four or five days of weather so if it's not showing on your uh, system as well, then you need to call your alarm company. I already did that, the same thing, so they will be updating me on that. There is not, not, nothing much that you need to do, so when the security system updates it, uh, update your uh, weather, uh, not, uh, the system, and then your postal code is added, then it will give you the weather notifications. So now uh, you can change the temperature Celsius to Fahrenheit. Then in the status, if you see uh, this gives you the alarm current status alarm and history so this one if you already know what triggered it and you want to uh, delete it then you can just choose it and delete so I'll delete the same and then history so now if you see all this uh, the the notification on the status is gone then z-wave devices so this is for the uh, devices connected to the IQ panel so if there is anything connected then it will show here then in the automation if you see here there is nothing connected so it depends on what so uh, what kind of alarm system you have and then you will be able to uh, use these settings in the activity uh, activity monitor is the same thing it's not supported the license is for the IQ panel and all the system that's being used then if you want to go to the advanced settings you will need the uh, advanced code for this one. So sorry, the user code for this one. So I will just enter that code and it will take me to the main master settings. So now the first master setting, when I press on it, then in this one, it will show me the favorite languages that I can choose. So in this one, as you see, the English is one and then the secondary is Spanish. So if you want to change it to uh, different languages, you can choose. And then you, uh, when you go on the front display here, it will give you those options here. So now, now, now the second is uh, this one that when your dealer or the installer uh, comes to make any changes, does he require the access code or not? So it says dealer or installer access requires user permission. So you can change those settings as well. And in the user management, when you go, so if you see there are two IDs, one is for M admin and the second one is DRS. So the admin is your main normal use that you do. So if you go to uh, the settings here, then you can change the name and then the user code. So if you see, it says one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So this is the code that you will be using to uh, unlock your, your panel. and you can save it and then and then sorry I'll just go back to the settings there enter user code now in this one if you see the duress and if you see the code this is to be used in case for example if there is a burglar in your house and they ask you to unlock it and take all your phones and you you can't you don't have any way to notify police or emergency services then when you enter the code to unlock your system so you instead of entering one two three four enter whatever code you set so now right now in this case is nine 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 eight what it will do is it will lock, unlock the panel but at the same time it will notify uh nine one one or police and then this is like a way that you can notify your alarm company that there, that there is some uh, security issue at your house. And then now if you want to change it, you can just enter the new number and press save and then it will change the code. Then uh, the third is about. So in this one, you can go to battery. It says battery is full. Then uh, you can press back, then the software, then the uh, hardware, and then it will give you the information who's the manufacturer and all, and the patches, like the upgrade patches, then the panel, it will give you the address for the panel, then the seller, G-Wave, and it gives you the, all those information, like the Wi-Fi information. So it shows you it's connected, 
and then uh, internal storage, whatever the space is in it, in it, like to store the photos and the videos from the uh, when when you disarm the system. And the next is uh, system tests. In this one, you will be able to test different uh, things in your IP, uh, IQ panel, like your Wi-Fi test, then if your glass panel is working or not, and then the different sensors. So if you go to like Wi-Fi test and then press run, it will give you those uh, results. And then you can also test your grass, uh, glass panel and then it will give you these results as well. Now, if you go back, then there is an edit sensors. In this one, there are sensors connected to different entry of the house, then you can edit them, change their name. Uh, and do that and in this one if you do the panel reboot it will reboot the whole panel it takes about few, uh, five minutes to reboot everything then it will be reconnecting with all the sensors then the power down will be shutting off the IQ panel then the Bluetooth devices you can add your phone and then edit devices delete device remove all device and change the settings you go to uh, different settings so if you want to control your IQ panel with your phone when you're at home, uh, then you can you can connect it. Then the Wi-Fi, as it's already connected with the Wi-Fi, and then it will show you the new Wi-Fi available, and if you want to connect new, with the new one. Then in the sound, you can adjust the uh, volume of it, and then the uh, different chimes that you want, like the names Hi-Fi or different, different charm types. Then uh, there are different settings you can explore in this one. Now, uh, IQ remote devices, then uh, you can, if there are multiple IQ devices, you can, you can control that as well. And then access point settings, like if it's for the Wi-Fi controls and all, right? So now if I go back, there Enter you, uh, user code. So uh, there's one more thing that you might have noticed that there is no option shown yet that how to change your time and date, right? So the thing is with that one, so when we when we go to settings and we go to advanced enter setting, if I enter one, two, three, four, then it takes me to the settings, those, uh, those I already explained. But if I go back to the settings and then enter go to advanced code. settings, then I enter a different code, it will take me to the different settings. So in this one, you will be able to change your date and time. And also in this one, uh, you will see there are more settings that as installation, user ma uh, management, uh, about, and then, so first we'll do the date and time. So now if I go to date, then I can change the date and then a time as well. So now once your date and time is changed, uh, then you also have a setting if you want to upgrade your software. So you just open it and then check if there's any uh, pending update that's there and then you can update it. And then when you press the home button here, it will take you to the main screen. And then uh, there is the camera that uh, takes the pictures. This is a sensor that detects the motion here. And then on the top, there is nothing on the side. There is nothing here. Uh, there is a speaker here, oh, sorry. At the bottom, there is nothing, but on the right side, at this point is the uh, SD card insert that you can do. And then at the bottom here, so if I press it, I can make the screen go uh, on sleep mode or it can activate it back again. So I'll click a picture for that and then it will make it, uh, it easier. Thanks for watching. Hope this information helped you to set up your IQ panel better and better understanding for it. If this video helps you, please click the like button for the video and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.